this is history. I mean, this is this is American history right here. So to be be part of American history and uh, being the first true Air Force One, uh, that's that's a pretty big deal. The Columbine II became America's first true Air Force One in 1953 when air traffic control mixed up President Eisenhower's plane with another, both marked with number 8610. Since then, the president's plane has only been called Air Force One. Now, decades later, it's ready to fly again. Crews spent a full year repairing the engines and controls. We've had some real good challenges. Once the Columbine 2 lands in Virginia, crews will start polishing the outside. And then the restoration will move on to the inside of the plane, where they'll restore all the furniture to how it originally was in the 1950s. This is all original. Rocco worked on this project from the start, so and he told us what's going back in the plane during its restoration. Actually, had a uh, like a gas stove where they would cook their food. Some of the other repairs will be to fix the manual navigation system. Back then, they didn't have GPS. The plane will also have replicas of the original beds. They're actually attached up here. Replicas of the original seats and even the phone will be put in too. All of these renovations will take at least two years, but for now. It is ready to fly. It's awesome. We just want to get it back together and, and let everybody enjoy it. And people will be able to enjoy it even through its repairs. Alexa Liaco, Kega 9, on your side.